some people ask, can you make a taming video on birds? A really good way to break the ice with your bird is to either hold food or treats in your hand, such as millet spray. When your bird eventually grows enough trust with you, they'll eat it out of your hand. That's a big breakthrough with taming a bird, for them to eat out of your hand. Every time I see Freeze, he reminds me of my father. Let's go over a couple taming tips with a bird. If you would like to tame a bird, if you would like to own the most tameable bird possible, it would be best to get a hand-fed bird. Freeze is not hand-fed. New bird, I'm pretty sure, is not hand-fed. Nismo here was hand-fed. That's the reason why Nismo allows me to give him kisses. That's the reason why he allows me to touch him. Just like my ex. They feed them as babies with syringes. They remove them from the parents, and that's the reason why some birds are able to be extremely affectionate towards people. So if you would like the most tame bird possible, you would absolutely need to buy a hand-raised bird, such as Nismo here. KZE, what can I do to tame a parent-raised bird, such as new bird here? A couple things you want to understand before you start to tame your bird. You do not want to rush things. Just take things nice and slow. Hopefully, you have the bird for quite some time. So just go ahead and take things nice and slow. You don't want to pressure the bird. You want the bird to do everything on his own will. But the main goal for you is for your bird to want to spend time with you. It's pretty easy for a bird to want to spend time with you. I am the commander. Nimu. Oh my gosh, no, new bird, you bastard. Okay, it's time for you to get out. Is that the bird? You damn new bird. Another thing, if you would like the most tame bird possible, I would recommend owning just one bird, since of course birds prefer to be with each other. I would always recommend to slightly clip your bird's wings. If you did just receive a bird and would like to tame them, take new bird here for example. He's gonna be trying to avoid his cage as much as possible at this point since he's free. If you trim their wings a little bit, it makes them a little bit less independent. And if you take the bird wherever it would like to go, that just helps with the taming process. To make retrieving much easier, as well as mobility less for your bird, I've always clipped for the first period of time I've owned the bird. After their wing grows back, that should have been enough time for them to gain a little bit of trust with you. I just leave their wings alone after that. Nismo used to be super attached to me until the new bird came along. He just seems to have a little bit more interest in him. He just seems to want to please the bird more. I'm completely fine with him having a little lover. Look at him. Oh my gosh. No, oh, he didn't follow. Good bird. Nemo. Nemo! Look at him, he's just watching him, he's like... Go ahead, freeze! He won't, he won't. You know you can fly. Go to your cage! Oh, good bird. Step up. Go bird. Let's go ahead and see the difference species make when they see themselves in a mirror. Take a look at Nismo. Here goes Nismo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You call those ladies. Mm-hmm. I taught you well, bird.
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Okay, the birds are getting mad at you. Calm down. Free! I never freeze! <laughs> you want to stay with Papa, Humphrey? You want to stay with Papa? This here's the new bird, and as you can see, he's not that scared of me anymore. He's getting pretty accustomed to things. When people ask, how long does taming a bird take? There's no certain amount of time. You should be taming the bird its whole lifetime. If you're trying to get your bird accustomed to you slightly faster, it's really important you spend time around the cage. Try talking to the bird about two or three feet away from the cage. You want to place the cage in a quieter environment where the bird will be staying. They're like synchronized swimmers or something. Spending time around your bird is the most important thing. Even just by simply removing the food bowl and the water bowl every morning, that's enough interaction for the beginning. The next thing you can try is holding some type of treat in your hand, such as millet. This here is millet and it should be used as a treat and not as food, since in large amounts it could be pretty fattening for them. Just hold the treat in your hand, allow the bird to get closer to you. This is a pretty important step on gaining your bird's trust for them to get near you. As you can see, the new bird is not approaching me at the time. It's important that while your bird's getting accustomed to you while he's inside the cage, you do normal motions with your hand as well as speaking. Just by doing this, I'm gaining a good amount of trust in the bird. If your bird does not approach you, that's completely fine. Eventually, they will go for the treat. It's just a matter of time. And like I said, time is your friend. Don't pressure anything. Don't put the treat closer to the bird. After you notice that your bird is getting less and less frantic about you, that's when you can start and train your bird to step up onto your finger. I would I highly recommend to have a part of your house where you train your bird where there isn't a lot of distractions and is simply used to train. I've always used my room for this. You're gonna want to seclude your bird and have them perched up. And millet spray should not be used as food. This should be used as a reward. One thing you can do, you can remove their food bowl prior to training them just so they could be more driven towards food. That being said, you do not need millet to train your bird. You can simply just use their food, but birds do love millet. We're about to give the birds some cooked chicken. Chicken is completely fine for your birds to eat. I have fed them chicken before. If your bird bites you, just don't make any loud noises. And if they do want to bite you, just give them something flat that they can't bite. Parrots are much more feisty than cockatiels. Cockatiels are pretty lovable birds. No more chicken. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.